hi guys how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here to watch my videos if you are a returning subscriber but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends in our today's video we're gonna be having a story time of a Ghanaian lady by the name of dina 33 years of age who found love on online dating apps with a guy from the uk a british guy 35 years of age and something that is very very important that you all should know is that dina was on online dating apps on and off for eight good years so you guys who have been on online dating apps for so long and you are very very tired of online dating apps you're like it doesn't work guys it works when it's god's time no one can stop it god's time is the best so keep believing in god that you will eventually find the one no matter how many years you have been on online dating apps searching for the one so without wasting much of your time let us jump into this beautiful online dating success love story of our beautiful dina from ghana so dear friends like i told you that dina was on online dating apps for eight good years on and off it is good for us to know why dina joined online dating apps what pushed her to join online dating apps and how did she come to know about dating apps without forgetting was dina in a love relationship at that time before joining online dating apps what was her past love relationship experience we need to know was she dating a ghanaian guy and if yes how did it go so let's dig deeper into dina's past love relationship experience so friends dina tells us yes she was in a love relationship before with a ghanaian guy at the age of 24 actually they met at college so this guy was a college boyfriend they were so much in love with each other and at some point dina thought that that guy is going to be her future husband so everything continued to go very well in the right direction but later on unfortunately guys this guy broke her heart she cried a lot was so heartbroken very disappointed talked to god and told herself that i will not give myself to anyone until i find the right guy years went by and then dina found someone in real life but nothing serious went on between them also tried to date some other guys in real life but it did not end up in a serious relationship says that maybe it is god who was protecting her because of her prayer so friends after dina's relationships in real life failing now we are going to know how did she come to know about dating apps <laughs> so dina tells us there is this an old lady a family friend from the church one day they were having a convo about dina's love life and then this lady told her that why can't you try online dating apps because all my sons in the states met their wives through online dating apps and said that if you are lucky you can find someone very amazing online so that is when dina started her online dating journey and started searching for online dating apps but tells us unfortunately most dating apps had banned Ghanaians from those sites example eHarmony and Christian Mingo so she kept on searching and searching for other dating apps then came across Afro introductions so she created her profile on Afro introductions but never added any of her pictures because she was not comfortable yet to put herself there on online dating apps wasn't so sure about this online dating thing this whole experience was new to her so because she did not add her photos did not get much traffic 
on her profile <laughs> and later on decided to add some beautiful photos edited her profile and that is when she started receiving lots of messages from men another thing that dina tells us is that initially when she started searching was open to all races but as she kept on staying on the app all bad experiences were coming from black men unfortunately guys though not all that are bad don't get me wrong but this is her experience on online dating app and even in real life all her bad experience were coming from them so that one made her lose interest in black men and decided to focus searching for only white men so she kept on chatting with men on the site but nothing serious was coming around some were asking for her nude pictures some were asking for phone sex and ended up deleting those guys kept on searching and then got a guy who was from the uk and he was planning to go to ghana but dina tells us due to the age difference was not interested in this guy there was no chemistry so ended up ending the communication with that guy too so guys it went to two years and a half dinner on afro introductions but not finding anyone at all so she was kind disappointed and told herself let me close this dating app and then find love in real life if i don't find anyone in real life I will come back again on Afro introductions. Wanted to focus on school, career, and other important things. So friends, I gave you this advice too. I remember that if you are on online dating apps, you're not finding anyone, you feel like things are not moving, you are so tired of searching, it is better to take a break. Take a break and if you don't find anyone in real life, you can come back again and try your luck because dating apps will always be there. There is no need for you to fall into a depression just because you have been on online dating apps for three years and you're not finding anyone. No, please take a break. So, so Dina, guys, Dina stayed on a break for two years and after two years returned on Afro introductions, but decided to also try out another dating site that I'm going to be mentioning before I end this story because that is where she found the one, her husband, <laughs> as we are talking now. So she downloaded that dating site and also stayed on Afro introductions. But on that new dating site tells us that men were more classy in terms of their messages comparing to afro introductions so later on decided to close her account for good on afro introductions and remained with that dating site that i'm going to be sharing with you don't worry stick here watch till the end so dina's journey on that dating site continued and then received a message from this american guy his name is brian brian seemed very very nice they started chatting everything was going very well and then dina asked him when are we going to meet when do you think you can come over because i told you guys when you are on online dating apps it shouldn't exceed three months if you're chatting with a guy you like each other before talking of when you are going to meet so dina was right to ask this guy when are we going to meet but after asking that question the guy was like not now i am still saving till next year that is when i'm going to come so they kept on chatting next year came which was 2020 and then covid heated yeah so he couldn't come because of covid it became an excuse and after covid you know had cooled down people were allowed to travel again dina asked the guy when are you planning to come over to ghana brian was like i am still saving i don't have enough money you have to wait after six months then she waited after six months the guy was like i am still saving so later on dina realized that brian was just a time waster wasn't serious at all so after dina realizing that he wasn't serious at all even their communication 
started fainting little by little and in the end the relationship ended just like that so i don't want to waste much time on this i've talked about it again guys don't waste your time with a guy that is keeping on promising to come meet you or that is keeping on promising to invite you to his country but it never happened <laughs> when it is time to come the guy is sick when it is time to come an excuse when you see that know that that is a red flag you should end that relationship before you waste more time on that guy keep searching because if you keep yourself to that guy that means you are preventing yourself to find the right guy as soon as possible <laughs> yeah i said i won't waste much time on this but i want to add something mister i am saving please stay away from them i told you if a guy goes on online dating apps to search for love he should be ready he should be sure of what he wants if he finds a lady what next not that you find the lady that you want you want to marry then you start saving that means that guy wasn't sure even of what he wants before going to the dating apps so please i repeat stay away from mr i am saving money to come meet you i am saving money so that i can invite you so after ending it with brian you know when you are chatting with a guy everything is going fine you know he is the one so if anything goes wrong you really feel down you feel disappointed so that is the way that dina felt she wasn't going so much to that dating site but came on receiving messages from men among of the messages that she received stood out to her so guys that guy that sent her a message and it stood out to her was from the uk his name is daniel 35 years of age tells us received his message just after her birthday she tells us she believes that was god's gift you know answered prayer <laughs> for her 33 years birthday <laughs> so in daniel's message he was saying he would like to get to know her more but another thing is that dina tells us after going through his message knew that daniel had gone through her profile which is very very important i told you guys a serious guy before he writes you a message will first read your profile will first go through your profile to see what you have written if you guys match it's very very important that's why i've been telling you it is good to work on your profile have a good profile write attractive words which will attract men you know all of that works magic <laughs> and you too before you send a message to a guy go through his profile because when he sees you went through his profile he will know you are serious so that is why dina knew that daniel is serious because he went through her profile <laughs> so after receiving daniel's message dina replied but it took daniel some days before he replied back and at that time dina was telling herself maybe this guy isn't serious maybe he is the same like these guys have been meeting here on the site so after some days daniel replied back and then after chatting for a while they decided to exchange whatsapp numbers when they went on whatsapp they started whatsapping and calling each other but they did not do a video call immediately they only exchanged photos and when daniel saw dina's photos was like you are very pretty but i am sure you may not say the same about my photos oh my god men can be so funny dina tells us daniel is a cute guy when she saw his photos was so cute but told herself i'm not going to fall in love with him i'm not going to attach myself emotionally to this guy because i am not sure yet <laughs> and this is good guys i've been telling you don't attach yourself immediately to a guy don't fall in love immediately to a guy before you are sure this is to protect your heart <laughs> another thing you guys should know is that dina is my subscriber has been here watching my videos 
told me that i really helped her very very much and i am so happy listening to this story i see that everything that she was doing was going on the right direction so friends to take you a bit back if you are a christian if you have a personal relationship with god then you are going to understand what dina told us because it even happened to me in the past i will tell you what happened <laughs> Dina tells us when she was in her 20s had a dream but did not understand it because at that time was dating a Ghanaian guy. So the dream was she saw a white man holding a baby but never got to see that white man's face. That dream came like three times. So when she started chatting with Daniel a month after this was november 2021 had another dream so in this dream so it was a prophetic sunday she was at the church and this pastor who used to pray for her about her love life told her that your husband's name is daniel then woke up she was sweating her heart was beating very very fast so after waking up from that dream she had to remove that wall that she had put between her and daniel remember she was like i'm not going to fall in love with this guy because i am not sure you know <laughs> so decided to open her heart because it's like god was talking to her and also added she thinks god sometimes reveals things to us through dreams this is true guys i also remember when i was in my 20s i had a dream of my friend holding a chinese baby because <laughs> this baby's face i could see it it looked like a chinese baby but what surprised me in that dream my friend wasn't breastfeeding that baby so i was like why is that my friend is not breastfeeding her baby <laughs> so i woke up and i remember talking to another friend that i was living with about that dream so this friend told me that baby is yours guess what guys <laughs> when i got married to my husband then sophie was born i'm telling you if you could see her when she was little you could say she is a chinese baby i'll look for her photo when she was a newborn so that you can see it even i remember when sophie was still a little my husband's nephew joked about it talking to my husband i was like are you sure this baby is yours she looks like chinese <laughs> so i remember that dream when i was like oh my god so god was talking to me was showing me my baby before i even thought of getting married <laughs> yeah so it's true i totally agree with dina about god revealing things through dreams and Dina also called these prophetic dreams so Dina and Daniel eventually made a video call it was on Christmas 2021 and Dina was so happy to see Daniel Daniel too was happy but Dina asked him why did you think I won't like you when I see you then Daniel was like you can never tell <laughs> but Dina tells us he looked so 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 cute even more than the photos <laughs> so they kept on talking building their relationship and then started talking about meeting so initially Daniel wanted Dina to go to the UK be the one to first visit him because in their conversation Dina had told Daniel that she was in the UK before for. so that is why daniel wanted her to go but dina said no i prefer you be the one to first come to ghana and daniel agreed to it remember i told you if a guy truly loves you if he is really interested in you will never complicate situations <laughs> yeah if you tell him let's do this he won't start fighting with you and be like he want to be the one to win <laughs> not at all so they agreed like that but uh, for cinema <laughs> a little bit of for cinema <laughs> brian the time wester the american guy returned and was like let's see what this year brings <laughs> wanted to know if she had found someone i think wanted to keep on wasting dina's time but dina did not take him seriously 
because she knew already that he is a time waster so guys never go back to your exes <laughs> move forward because when things are getting better that is when the devil wants to intervene and destroy everything so guys valentine's came as they were still communicating building their relationship and then that same same day on valentine's 2022 february 14 obviously we know <laughs> daniel called on a video call he had a flower and a card asked to dinner to be his girlfriend oh my god that was so so sweet guys even when dina was telling me this she was smiling i could feel it from the tone of her voice she was so happy and accepted to be his girlfriend officially <laughs> so she told daniel don't worry about the valentine's gift you are going to come with them when you come to ghana but daniel refused and decided to post them <laughs> to ghana they arrived a bit late dina gave him the address of the father so she did not know that they had arrived but they had arrived a long time ago then later on she got a gift and was very very happy so we go to the introduction because i know it is very very important when you are chatting with a guy if he tells you that he loves you he want to come to meet you he wants to marry you you know when you're planning the future <laughs> he should introduce you to his relatives his friends you know people that are so important in his life so because daniel is a good guy in may 2022 before he went to ghana introduced dina to his parents his mom and the dad also talked about other relatives mentioned all their names oh my god when a guy is genuine he will want to come clean nothing to hide at all no corners like i have always said so they kept on talking and also planning for his visit to ghana so as they were planning they kept on chatting and they had to discuss also about the goodies <laughs> yeah they discussed about the goodies dina told him that i am practicing celibacy no sex till marriage daniel was okay with it said it's okay they also talked about the back door <laughs> i know most ladies have been asking this and i've talked about this in my videos that it is good to ask because this thing is so common especially to european guys so it is better to ask a guy when you are still dating <laughs> not after marriage because <laughs> when he marries you girl you're gonna give that back door <laughs> if you didn't talk about it <laughs> or your marriage is gonna fail because of that he can make that a very very big deal but if you stand on your grounds <laughs> when dating that it will never happen then he's gonna respect that so they talked about giving the back door and dina told him that i am not ready to do that do not expect that from me daniel told her don't worry i'm not into that i've never tried that and i'll never ask you about that so it is good guys to talk i repeat <laughs> before you cry <laughs> yes because in our african culture if you were raised well it is an abomination and it is against the will of god you know <laughs> to give your back door so they also talked about faith dina is a christian and daniel too is a christian told her that i have a very personal relationship with god but i don't go to church every sunday because sometimes on sunday you have to go to work you know europe life guys it's not like back home in africa whereby sunday is the day to go to church and worship god so they talked about that and it was good <laughs> another thing they talked about was about daniel's family 
if they are open to other cultures and races how are they going to take it you know that daniel is dating a black woman from ghana <laughs> but daniel told her don't worry my family is okay even my grandfather used to host exchange student program from different countries africa like nigeria and asia so it is not a problem at all also dina told him that don't worry about my family because in my family we have interracial marriages my aunties and my uncles are in interracial marriages so they were okay with that too another thing they could do when they were in a long distance relationship is to play games tells us daniel is into music not professionally but likes music very much even dina likes music likes singing so she could sing he could sing you know it was really really beautiful and it feels good when you find someone that your hobbies match <laughs> yeah it is really really good dina says that she's someone who is very very playful animated and Daniel too is the same. Compared to her past relationships, some guys could even mock her, talk to her in a bad way, be like, you are like a baby, due to her playful character, her animated behavior, you know? <laughs> so when you find the right guy, he will accept you as you are. And cause God is good, will bring a right man that you are going to match your hobbies, even your characters. <laughs> yeah, that's compatibility. So guys, I told you that they talked about meeting in the early stages of dating. So Daniel booked flight ticket to Ghana, May 2022. But unfortunately at that time, came a problem whereby British Airways wasn't going to Ghana every day due to the shortage of staff. And it fell the exact day that Daniel booked for his flight to Ghana. So he had to rebook again and shifted it to June 2022. So as they kept on planning for his trip to Ghana and when days were almost approaching, he called her and asked her, what jewel color do you prefer? But never told her it was a ring. She had only a hint and decided to make her engagement dress just in case. Also talked to the parents at that time about Daniel. They talked on a video call to him and also started the preparation for the party just in case if he comes so guys dina tells us a day before daniel went to ghana she had to move from where she was staying because it was far away from the airport and from the hotel where daniel had booked so had to go and stay with his brother because he lived near and that day came that daniel was going to ghana so dina's parents told her we are going together to the airport to pick him so she tells us they went in for it was her her parents brother and the brother's wife they took a minibus to the airport to pick daniel oh my god <laughs> that was so so good and very very exciting guys <laughs> but at that time dina tells us she was so nervous <laughs> so after arriving at the airport started seeing people coming out <laughs> and was like oh my god is he going to come or not <laughs> so gave his photo to the driver to go and look for him so the driver went and showed the photo when he came out he showed the driver his picture but at the same time dina saw him recognized him passed the whole crowd run jump and hug him oh my god it was so emotional they were so happy to meet each other dina saw a cute guy was like wow welcome <laughs> so after hugging him he also greeted her parents they hugged they were all happy and after that they went to have some food and after that took him to his hotel where he had booked remember no goodies till marriage so you who have been waiting to hear the goodies we won't hear goodies now at least for now <laughs> 
yeah so after arriving at his hotel he had brought lots of gifts for dinner and for her parents also gifts from his parents to her parents they were really happy they left him at the hotel where he had booked and dina went to stay at his brother's place with the parents because she never wanted to get the temptations of giving the goodies the next day went to see daniel in the morning had made a mini itinerary of where they will tour those two weeks when Daniel is in Ghana. So their first visit, they went to the gardens somewhere in a brew if you're Ghanaian I think you know this garden <laughs> so the next day they went to see the slave castles tells us Daniel was a bit disturbed <laughs> due to the history behind the slave castles you know European colonization and British colonization but they took some photos and then went for a canopy walk so on Saturday there was a special lunch prepared for Daniel at dinner's party Parents. so they went and after eating daniel went to the chamber to have a discussion with dina's father they didn't know what they were discussing about they only had some hints about their discussion because it was a man-to-man -man discussion no one was allowed to hear what they were discussing about <laughs> so guys sunday came and tells us on sunday they went to visit kwame kuruma museum after visiting the museum they went to Accra to visit some places so guys I managed to get some photos from her I'm going to be showing them here or here of the places that they visited in Ghana when Daniel was there so that Sunday after having a tour they returned to his place the hotel where he was staying and when they arrived there it was around 7 or 8 and then Daniel told her that he has got something for her so they went out to take a walk as they were walking Daniel went down on his one knee with a ring and asked her Dina will you marry me <laughs> she was so happy and said yes congratulations girl <laughs> yeah this is a dream of every woman that is in a relationship dating a guy you know a guy to propose because that day becomes the happiest day of your life because that's the road to marriage <laughs> after the engagement he paid the bride price because dina had talked to him about the culture Ghanaian culture and traditions you have to pay for the bride price before marriage so he paid gave them money and they went also bought a suitcase of the bride put things for the bride you know the traditional way if you're from ghana you will understand this so everything went well concerning the bride price and, and after the bride price and the engagement quickly they started preparing for the traditional marriage because it was something you know organized fast 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 they had to send very fast the invitation to few close people and friends invited two pastors from the church her father too is a pastor the mc and some few friends were invited so the day for the traditional marriage arrived and thank god she had her dress already for the traditional marriage so the dress wasn't a problem and it started as the way the traditional marriage goes it's her sister's in law who walked her out to see people outside everything went very very good and tells us in ghana traditional marriage recognized yeah so in ghana he is officially the husband of dina <laughs> congratulations to you dina and daniel so after the traditional marriage it was time for daniel to return to the uk at the airport tells us he was so emotional even dina too was very very emotional because the husband is returning back to the uk though they had plans already to meet again in the uk so they had so tightly for so long and people who were passing by <laughs> were like we are jealousy <laughs> and eventually he left 
to the UK. So guys, after he left, they kept on communicating and the plan was Dina to go to the UK September 2022. Even Dina's mother was going to the UK to visit her sister. So they both applied for the visit visa to the UK. But Dina tells us at that time, doesn't know if it is still the same now, the visit visa took so long. Her visa took eight weeks and her mother's visa took seven weeks. So her mother's visa came before and hers came later. So after getting those visa, they changed their mind and decided to go to the UK during Christmas, December 2022. So Dina talked to Daniel about going during Christmas period and Daniel was like, yes, Christmas period is the cool time. It's okay, I agree. I know right now you're like, so she is traveling with the mother who is paying for her trip <laughs> to go to the UK. <laughs> the one who paid for the trip, Dina says at first, she wanted to pay for her own trip to go to the UK. But Daniel was like, no, I want to pay. In the end, they agreed that Daniel pays only a part of her trip to the UK. So that is how it went. Another thing I think it's a blessing of this girl tells us that she has got lots of family members in the UK. Remember, she has an aunt who lives in the UK and when she got engaged, the mother called the sister, told her about that. <laughs> also, the father called the uncle who lives in Germany that Dina has got engaged with a guy from UK. So I think it's a blessing, you know, to be in a foreign country and you have your family members. Some of us, oh my God, <laughs> we dream of that. <laughs> All I can say it's God's work to give Dina a husband who comes from the UK and she has got lots of family members who are in the UK. So Dina tells us she has been to the UK 11 years ago and it is due to that she has got relatives there. Now I hope you understand. <laughs> At the time when she told Daniel she has been to the UK before. And that one brings me to the point of connection. <laughs> Guys, I'm still with you. We see that Dina had lots of relatives in Europe but they did not connect her. <laughs> she had to go to online dating apps to search for a white man. Because the truth is, it's not easy. Ladies that are paying people for connection, be very careful. Because it's never easy and people are taking advantage of that. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you learned something here. Stick to online dating apps, you will find the right man. Unless you are lucky, you have a friend and she get to connect you to a white man who is interested in a black woman but if it is not that stick to online dating apps I repeat so they booked a flight to Manchester because that is where her aunt lives the mother was going to visit the sister so after arriving at Manchester Airport found her aunt there plus Daniel was there waiting for her with mother so dina's mother met daniel's mother for the first time at manchester airport they hugged they were so happy to meet in person for the first time and the aunt too was happy to see daniel daniel's mother brought christmas gifts for dina's parents so they talked and after having a talk they had to leave because where daniel lives is two hours from Manchester, tells us Yorkshire. You guys that are living in the UK, you know this place. And after arriving at Daniel's place, they stayed a bit, then went to Daniel's mother's house cause they don't live very far from each other. In Dina's bag had Christmas gifts for Daniel's parents. So when they arrived at Daniel's mother's house, brought out the Christmas gifts that the parents gave to her. They were really, really happy. So the next day after dinner arriving, Daniel took her to meet the dad. He was at work, they talked, says he is a good man. 
tells us his family is such a very good family and thanks God to find herself in such a loving family. So dear ladies, I know most of you like to know when did she share her goodies? <laughs> and you have been like, Bella, when did she share the goodies? We want to know. We are waiting. <laughs> Why is that she's not mentioning the goodies? <laughs> she shared her goodies when she came to the uk yes the exact week i don't know guys <laughs> what i know the information that i have the goodies were shared in the uk after the traditional marriage and we see that on online dating apps you can find a guy who will wait till marriage yes guys there is hope for you who wants to wait till marriage so on 25th there was a christmas party at daniel's mother he met daniel's relatives the sisters the nephews you know those close close to daniel they enjoyed exchanged gifts even daniel gave dinner a christmas gift and tells us daniel is such an attentive guy he's very attentive even in small things that dinner tells him he likes tells us She's someone who really likes cards <laughs> and tells us on a Christmas day, Daniel gifted her a card plus other gifts, but a card was there because she says she likes cards. <laughs> He's such a wonderful guy. So after 25th, then 26th came, which was Boxing Day. They had a very big Christmas family party, Daniel's grandparents and that is when she met lots of his relatives all of them and they were so happy to meet her she was so happy to to meet them she really enjoyed very very much so the time that she has spent in the uk has visited different places and is still visiting she'll be going back to ghana in four weeks to come after arriving in ghana we'll start a fiancé visa process to come to the uk join daniel then register their marriage start life together <laughs> happily ever after so dear friends to the name of the dating app where Dina found Daniel. They met on Afro Romance. I remember telling you on Afro Romance, you can meet American men, but you see, you can also meet men from Europe. <laughs> it tells us it's called Afro Romance or surreal, surreal, something like that. I'll write it there, <laughs> just like the way she wrote it to me. I know most of you that watches my video, you know about Afro Romance. They met on Afro Romance, she was paying, but tells us she regrets to pay, cause Daniel too was paying. I told you if a guy is paying, there is no need for you to pay, cause if you pay, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> If one of you is paying, then you can chat <laughs> and start a relationship. So friends, quickly to her advice. Her advice number one is patience. You have to be very, very patient. No matter how much you have been on online dating apps, tells you when the right time comes, you will find the right man. Her advice number two is for time wasters, men who waste time on online dating apps you're chatting with a guy he is not clear of his real intentions you don't see the future with that guy it's better to keep moving forward keep searching don't stick to that guy because you will only waste your time it will prevent you from meeting the right man yes and also do not put all your eggs in one basket <laughs> okay third advice i'm gonna let you listen to it so i normally see ladies going like oh i've been on dating sites for one month or i've been on dating site for one year and i haven't met anybody i don't think this thing works and maybe people are lying i've been on dating site for two years i've been on dating site for six months and no it doesn't matter someone can be on dating site for six months and find someone someone can be on a dating site for 10 years and then find someone you should be patient um you should know what you are looking for 
and don't give up you can take breaks like go or focus on your life focus on your studies focus on your job like career anything that you want to achieve but then don't totally give up because you don't know where you will meet your husband i think you have had that guys very very important don't give up so her fourth advice is if you're genuinely looking for love you should believe trust in god and pray doesn't mean if you're not hearing from god maybe in a month or years you should give up and be like god is not hearing me because she tells you that five years is just a week to god so keep trusting in him keep praying he's gonna answer you bring the perfect man perfect for your future perfect for the purpose that god brought you on earth for her last advice guys i've been advising you this too and tells us even when she started chatting with daniel started having lots of bad dreams one month before daniel went to ghana had a dream whereby a woman was chasing her and her mother protected her and then in real life one day she wasn't at home her mother wasn't at home it's only the dad who was at home had a bang on the glass door a very strong bang when the dad went to see found that it was a bird who banged on that glass door and died there immediately. So when she heard about this bird, talked to the parents about her dream and they were like, maybe somebody somewhere wasn't happy about what was going on in your life concerning your love life. Not only her, even a lady who used to pray for her had a vision. A lady was saying that she's getting married to a white man and i haven't got married yet and not only that lady there is another lady who also had a dream about her that there is a lady who was saying she's getting married to a white man we will see so guys you can be there and things are happening with these eyes that we are having we can't see but the devil is fighting to destroy your life that is why it is better to close your mouth especially if you are still dating your relationship is not like you are married already in the dating stage just zip up <laughs> so her advice is move in silence because you don't know if a person is spiritually or physically envious of you wants to destroy your life and guys before i end this video dina is a content creator on instagram i'm going to be sharing her instagram page name so that you can go follow her see her and learn a lot from her she has got really beautiful hair you will be like wow and you will learn a lot concerning growing your hair naturally <laughs> yeah so thank you so much for watching this video i know it has been so long if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good comment below what you think about this video until next time guys i love you so much you're always is here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao Mwah.